Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to give you an in depth review of oxygen os 12 stable build c.17 for the oneplus 8 series devices i'll also address all the bugs and problems with this build so without wasting any more time let's get started if we go into the about info section you can see that the build number is c.17 which is oxygen os 12 stable build the build was released almost 2 weeks back and since then i have been using it on my one plus 80 and my overall experience has been really positive except for some small issues so the first thing is the notification issue which was there on all previous builds since the release of oxygen os 12 has been fixed now and i have not faced that issue on this build even for a single time you can get notifications from gmail and telegram and all other apps without any issues and because of this reason the build is very much usable now now let's talk about the battery life as many users commented on my previous video that the battery drain has increased tremendously but but I have not faced any issues regarding battery on my 8T. In fact, the battery backup has been great for me and I am easily getting 6-7 to seven hours of screen on time in this build. As you can see, I have no battery drain from the Quick Connect app and I will suggest you to do a clean install if you are facing battery issues. Now let's talk about the charging speed. A lot of users have shared that the charging speeds have been reduced but I think that is not the case as my OnePlus 8T charged from 1-100% to 100 in less than 50 minutes. So I think the charging speeds are fine. Moving on the device started heating up a lot more with this build and even the device started jittering and lagging sometimes without any gaming or so. I mean it doesn't happen every time but yes there is some heating issue which was not the case with previous builds. And even while pulling the notification shade down 5 out of 10 times is there a small jitter. And not only on my 8T the issue is still there on my OnePlus 9 Pro. Hopefully OnePlus will fix it soon. Moving on the fingerprint unlock and face unlocks also work fine without any issues and they are as fast as Oxygen OS 11. And the same goes for the camera application, no improvements have been done there and the performance is exactly the same as Oxygen OS 11. The quality of the images and the videos is also same. Now let's talk about the gaming situation. In BGMI you can select 90 FPS from the setting but as you can see in the FPS meter the device is capped to 60 FPS. And there is no way to enable 90 FPS in Oxygen OS 12 as of now. You get only 45 to 55 FPS while playing and not more than that. I will suggest you to roll back to Oxygen OS 11 or install a custom ROM if you want to enjoy gaming on this device. So those were all the issues and problems that I am facing with this build. Overall the performance has been good and Oxygen OS 12 is usable now. I just hope they fix the gaming issues with the coming builds. If you are facing any other issue I would suggest you to do clean install on this build that will fix most of the problems and if you can't do a clean install then waiting for the next update is your only option. That's all for this video. Comment down if you are facing any other issues on Oxygen OS 12. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.